Hey, welcome back to Exit 45. And uh, today, the fight is over. I've got my windshield. So all I need to do now is get a rubber gasket on it, get some butyl sealant on it, get it installed. I don't know, there's a lot to do still. Uh, why don't you guys come along? I'll bring you inside here and I'll show you what I got, all right? Okay, there's my giant box, as you can see, all unpacked. And there's my windshield. So, yeah, it's got a lot of uh, condensation on it because it was in the house until I got home. So it was nice and cold, came out here in the wonderful Florida humidity. Uh, but very nice, uh, very nice piece of glass. Um, I know some of you guys can remember I was up in Oregon and while I was up there I stopped by bird nest to see if I can get uh, The glass while I was there save me some money on shipping because the shipping is the most expensive part and It just didn't work. They, they the company that they were using to get their glass just couldn't get it to them in time So I came back empty-handed uh, I tried to reach out to them a couple more times and I never really got any calls back and I couldn't wait any longer, so I, I started to do some more searching. I found uh, a company, I wanna say it's Auto Glass, I don't know. Uh, the company is Auto City Classics, and they're out of Minnesota. And uh, that was a really good experience, guys. I don't know if you've ever used them, but their price is really good. I, I got the glass at a cheaper price than I could get it anywhere else. And I got the shipping for under half of what it would have cost me anywhere, and it was shipped to my house. So, uh, if any of you try to get glass shipped before they want it shipped to a commercial address, if they do ship it to a house, it costs, I don't even know, it's a lot more. Uh, that they want to ship it to a house. And this company, they just shipped it to my house. It didn't, didn't charge any different. So, uh, the glass came very well packed. Uh, and in good shape. So I absolutely, I mean, you know, short of this not fitting my car, uh, this has been a very good experience. So, uh, all right, so let's get, uh, let's get started. We got to get a rubber gasket on. Well, I'll just bring you in here and let you take a look and you can see there. So it's, uh, was the glass was 239 and the shipping was 225. You're not going to find that anywhere else nope you are not going to find that anywhere else and there you go well first thing we're going to do is get this cleaned up <clears throat> excuse me we got a lot of you can see here the packing tape so i'm just gonna soak it with some window cleaner and just nice and easy and just scrape that up i don't want to scratch my window but so that's really all I'm doing. You can I'll give you a little bit of a look here. I got this, this side of this uh, already cleaned up. And it uh, looks good. There's still some tape, but that's on the other side. So, but it came clean. feels nice and smooth. The window looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and go along here and just clean up this side real good. Flip it over and clean up the, uh, the other side. Remember guys, when you're doing this, keep it wet. Don't, uh, you know, keep, keep the stuff on here. Um, you don't want to be running a razor blade across your windshield dry. Okay, got the side done. So let's flip it over and we'll get the outside of the windshield. Well, here we go. It's nice and clean. All the stickers, tape glue is all off. So, looks really good. And I didn't even know that it was gonna come with the, uh, the part here to mount the uh, rear view mirror on, so that's cool. I, didn't, uh, I don't know if that's like normal with these or if that's 
you know, different. I don't know. Next step here in the process is we're going to go ahead and see if we can't start to work that, that uh, rubber seal on here. I've just used some uh, window cleaner just to help lubricate this a little bit, make it a little bit easier to slide uh, this on. So I'm just going to start on this corner and work my way around. And uh, so how this, this is going to work, you can see here, this is the outside. You can see it's, you know, it looks like all trimmed off and nice. Um, there, the other side does not. That's going to be the inside. Uh, yeah, yep, that's going to be the inside there. Uh, this will be where the window goes in right here. So that's where we're going to try and get in, and it's on this nice flat and trimmed side of it. So, all right. All right, so I got that corner seated, so I'm going to work my way this way. Corner is going to be a little tight, a little tricky, but we'll get it. There you go. You can see what I'm doing. So I've got this corner on. This is all in nice and tight, and I got it taped and held. This corner is on. So I'm gonna I'm gonna work this all the way down that way, and then I'll come back and I'll start to work this down that way. Okay. You can see I've got this all down. And run in it's going pretty easy the best way to do this you see the uh, if you take this and bend it and I can't push on it because I'll push the glass right off but you know I, I need two hands but when you work this in if you bend this back like that and then just work it in it goes in really easy so it's just bend it a little bit and work it in so basically I got to do is I got two hands I got to have one holding this windshield here so I don't push it off and then the other one bends that and works it on. So I just wanted to give you that little pointer that that seems to be the easiest way to get these on, even without lubricating it. It just goes right on. Well, there we go, guys. Deja vu kind of looks like the putting in the back window, don't it? <laughs> sure does. Anyways, the gasket's all in. I've got it taped on there for right now. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. i got to flip it over, and then I'm going to have to get the... Uh, rope in the other side to be able to pull it around the uh, pinch weld and I'll just bring you over here and show you so you want to be able to pull it around to the other side of this pinch weld here all the way all the way around it so and there's just uh, a rubber there's like a rubber piece that you know you want to grab it and just pull it to the other side and then that sets that window right right in here. Okay, so I've let it sit for a little bit. And what I'm doing now is I'm taking my rope. And we'll start here in the middle on the top. And I am just going to stuff it right into this channel right here. All right. And this channel is where the uh, goes around the pinch weld on the car so this this here will as you pull this it's gonna pull this back and then go up and over the pinch well and then that'll go that'll go in there so uh, this has a pretty large groove in it um, some of the ones I've done in the past this is a pretty tight groove so it's hard to get this in so this is going in pretty easy nothing difficult actually a little too easy it's like it doesn't want to stay in so I don't know I don't know how that's going to work, but um, either way, I'll get it in all the way around. Um, hopefully, it'll stay in. But uh, yeah, this is a bigger gap than I've uh, than I've seen. I've put in several of these type of windows, and uh, that's a that's a pretty big gap. But it's how it goes. So anyway. 
we'll just run that around all the way. Actually, um, on this, the bottom doesn't have it. It just has a uh, seal right here. It just lays right on there. So it, it stops here on both sides. And uh, so we'll just have to pull that all the way down and around to here and then all the way down and around to there. So, all right, there you go. So I got the, uh, the two meet up in the middle. Comes all the way around to in there. It comes out here at the bottom. And same on this side. Now, when we set the window in here, the better it fits in here, before you start to try and pull the string, the better it's gonna seat. So we wanna set it in here. We wanna push it around, get it centered, get it exactly where we want it in the opening so that it's sitting as deep in there as we can get it before we actually start pulling the rope and getting that window to settle down in there and, and seat. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys. Um, over here, I've got the sealant bead all the way around. And uh, so we're ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and walk this window over here and go ahead and get it set in. So like I said guys in the beginning, we gotta get this to fit as good as we can before we start pulling that rope. And it's just sticking to this butyl and really making it difficult to, to move maneuver this thing around. All right, we're gonna, I think we're gonna go ahead and give this a go. All right, so we're inside the car and this is the rope that we're gonna pull on and it should pull this rubber out and around and I know it's hard to it's the lighting in here is not very good but this is your pinch weld right here um, and then your rubber and they're very close to the same color so they're really not differentiating here but we're gonna try and pull this and pull that rubber out and around and and have it grab a hold of that pinch weld and see if we can get that window to sink in here and settle in so all right here we go you can you can see what we're doing just kind of keep pressure on that so you can see that the window seal is there we go you see it coming around I hope you can see it <laughs> it's, it's darker in here and okay we're gonna stop there <clears throat> we're gonna all right, so you can see this rubber piece is, is around it. Okay, guys, so we're going to work on this side now. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. There we go. Just keep working it. All right. How's it going? It's going. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to try and make this corner. Okay, we got the corner. There we go. It all looks like it's in. So let's go. Let's go see what we got out here. It's... We probably need to do a little bit more tapping that in, I think. Just uh, probably push up on it a little bit, too. But we're pretty close. So, all right, well, let's, we're going to. We're gonna push up a little, see if we can't get it. Looks like it maybe has come down a little bit. Um, a little low here. Okay. So we want this, push this windshield up. Looks like this side's low. 
That side looks like it's just right where we want it and it just comes down. So I think we need to move it up a little bit. So, all right, we're gonna work on that. Okay, so I think we're making some headway on getting this all settled down in there and sealed up. We're gonna work our way across this top now. See if we can't finish pulling that in and then just tap the rest of this thing right on in. So here we go, ready? All right, here we go. All right, we're getting there. Sorry about the camera work, but it's getting difficult. Okay. All right, so we got it in and the rubber lip is all the way around. So I think the we're gonna go ahead and work this side now. And then it's just gonna be a matter of going to the outside and just tapping it down until we get that to seat in there good. I used a butyl tape and I think it's really making this hard to seat in here. That stuff's a little bit on the kind of rigid side. And I think that's part of the problem. It's just that stuff is sticky and, but all right, go ahead. All right, here we go. Let's finish this off. There we go. There you go. You can see it. You see that rubber lip coming over that pinch weld. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we got all that. So I think now we just got to work that top down as, as best we can get it. Yeah, it's, uh, it needs to needs to settle down in there more. Well, look at how clean that windshield is. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I pulled it back out. So I didn't have any butyl caulk so i got this uh butyl uh roll for seal for setting windows problem with this stuff is it's so thick and heavy and sticky that it was keeping this once you set it somewhere you couldn't move it it just it was stuck there uh so we were never able to really get that window centered and set right where we wanted it and it never sat in there properly so we pulled it back out pull all this off I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put some other sealant on there all right so let me come over here and you can see I got the uh, the window out and I got the gasket back on so we are ready for take two so let me get the sealant applied and then we're gonna bring this over there and put it in take two Put it on, take it off, put it back on. Garage. Okay, you guys, we got uh, we got a window in. <clears throat> it's all seated down in here, nice now, like where it should be. Uh, let's, yeah, no, I'll get, I'll get it, I'll get it, I see it. Oh, let me get underneath here and we'll let you see. The uh, right here where the uh, dash dash will seal up to that. Oh my. Oh, this is in good all along here. Put it on, take it off, put it back on garage. Full force today. <laughs> uh, first things first, this window needs to settle and set and, and, and the, the sealant needs to set up. 
And once that happens, uh, then then I can pull this back off. I'm just this is just holding it right now so it doesn't slide down. I've just gone around and done my final uh, sealing sealant around it um, and once again I think I showed you this on the rear um, but this is what I'm using worked really good on the rear uh, window um, that sealed up well I um, tested that with the hose and I have no leaks okay so now that we've got the window installed I've got the uh, it's sealed on the outs outer perimeter and so the next thing I did and you can see the squeeze out here as we go along is I, I put my caulking gun my tube stuck it up underneath this this lip here between the glass and the seal and I just went all the way around filling it now I'll spray this all down with some Windex take a razor knife and I'll start getting all that off and clean it up really nice Okay, there you go, and then I'll spray it one more time. And I'll hit it with some more Windex. And we'll clean that right up. And that is how I'll do the rest of the windshield. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> are you uh are you filling in for pepper? Coming to inspect? Yeah? How's it going? Am I doing okay? You well, I guess I'm doing okay. All right. Well, guys, I'm going to take him inside. He wants to go inside. That's the only reason he ever comes in here besides pets. He wants to go inside. You ready to go inside? Okay. Well, guys, I brought Loki to the house since he had to fill in as an inspector. And guess what I found? That's right. The inspector's over here lounging on a chair, not doing his job. I got important work going on at the shop and I need somebody checking it over. This is why I have to do things over and over. You know that, don't you? Well, I guess we'll let him have his break. All right, there's your, there's your final look. I hope it, uh, Hope it passes inspection because both my inspectors bailed on me. You you saw them lounging. One decided to go into the air conditioning. But you can see I got the trim piece on here. That cowl will fit right up underneath there. When I get to that, but everything's sealed now. We're good to go. Press on forward. We got a dash to install. Well, I, I appreciate you guys coming and, uh, you know, hanging out for a little bit at the shop and you know we got it in we're good so i guess uh we'll move on to the next one so i guess i'll see you on the next video all right